so much content out here being created on social media for athletes, for coaches, and all across the board, right? Today, I want to break down five different types of content that you should be creating as a student athlete. Let's get into the episode. All right, so I don't want to waste uh, any time. I don't want to uh, belabor any points, but look, we're going to go ahead and get right into it. I'm really inspired to create this episode just to set the foundation for what episode is coming next week. And I'm going to tell you all about that a little bit later. But the first type of content that you should be creating as a student athlete, the first type, day in a life. Why would you not be sharing a day in your life, right? It gives people the opportunity to see the places that you're going, what your routine is, what practices look like, and different things like that. Why is this beneficial? Because there's a lot of people out there who don't have the benefit and don't have the ability to be in uh, a division one practice at a junior college practice at an NAIA practice. So by you being able to document pieces of this journey throughout the course of your day, now you're giving people something that they may never get to experience except through your shoes. All right. So we got that. And one person who does a great job of this is Masai Russell. She's on the way to the Olympics, right? I think, they're uh, yeah getting on, on i sorry i put a put a post out the other day as she's getting ready to head out to the olympics and if you never saw the episode or the interview we did with her be sure to check the link down in the show notes we'll have it right there for you but she does a great job of showing you her doing her uh stretches before she goes out for a meet her going out to get something to eat right so day in the life content is something that you're you're already going to live your daily life so why not just share a little bit behind the curtain for what that could look like okay then share what you eat i saw a guy who runs track for the university of florida and everybody that i mentioned uh, i don't know their names off the top of my head so i'll just have their uh i'll have them tagged down in the show notes but this gentleman runs track for the university of florida i saw him hey i'm gonna walk into the facility today this is what i eat for breakfast uh, i'm getting my usual i'm getting eggs i'm getting a scrambler I'm, this is what i'm eating for lunch it has x amount of protein grams and i'm like what People really out here documenting stuff like that? Yeah, clearly they are. So sharing, showing and sharing people, sharing with people what you eat and what you're consuming. Because a lot of people are trying to get to where you already are. So therefore, they're going to follow your steps. They're going to follow your tips. They're going to follow your eating regimen. Why? Because they want to be where you are. Okay. So just share with them what you're eating. You Share them your favorite is going to Chipotle and... You know, you put queso in your bowl with the guacamole and then you go pinto beans instead of black beans. Right. Why is this beneficial? It's beneficial because the people out there want to see these things. They want to know these things. And it just allows you to build a deeper relationship with them and a different connection. OK. Thirdly, third type of content you should be creating. And honestly, you're already creating it, but you just might not be sharing it as such. But creating carousel posts. Right. Why would you create carousel? Po a carousel post literally is. Think of flipping through a couple of think of flipping through like a photo album or something like that. That's all a carousel post is. Sometimes I've seen people post some of the same images, except it was like slightly blurry in this one and not so blurry in the other one. That's that's a carousel post. You're just making a post with multiple images could could contain some information right? Like a one, two, three type deal, like how to, how I make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches is a terrible example. But first, hey, put the bread down. So you got a picture of the bread. Second, hey, put, take out the peanut butter, rub it on there. Third, take out the jelly, rub it on there. Fourth, put them together. That's how I make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. That's a carousel post because you're showing people images and, or you're giving them information as well. OK, so we got that. That's the third one. But another um, another type of content you can begin to share is. Get ready with me. Get ready with me. People waking. I've seen student athletes showing you waking up, brushing their teeth, brushing their teeth, <laughs> washing their face, putting on makeup. And I'm like, wow, they really they really share this. Right. And if you all have seen some of the YouTube influencers, you see how when they have the um, whatever the product is, they might be like, I'll do it I have a brush right here. They might be like, yeah, so I'm using this. Uh, what's this brush called? I'm using this 
barber brush series uh, and they hold it into the front of the camera and then they do like this and then they like rub the stuff on their head or their face whatever it might be help people help people see right what it what a day getting ready with you would look like okay so get ready boom 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 and then they're out the door and that's the end of the content and i'm like wow never even would have you know never even would have thought people cared that much but with you being a student athlete with you being a coach there are people that really want to know these things like it's it's amazing and then the fifth piece of content that i'm going to share with you uh is i'm gonna go i'm gonna give you a bonus but the fifth piece I will say is travel with me, letting people know what you pack when you go to travel. Uh, that there, there's a guy no name uh, Jackson Prince, and Jackson Prince he shows people what he packs up when he goes to do podcast recordings. Right when he goes and does podcast recordings, interview different people, he like I take this, I take this, I take that, I take this, I put it in this bag, and then we're out. Sharing people what you're packing when you're traveling, when you're rolling out all that jazz. People want to know. And the sixth piece of content you should be creating, this is bonus. Well, I'm going to go seven. I'm going to give you two bonuses. Six is collaborative content. Why should you not be doing content with your teammates, with coaches on campus? Why should you not? Once you do this content, now you can invite each other and do a collaboration post so now you're going to cross pollinate followers between your followers and their followers or their followers and yours. So now you're getting exposed to another audience that you weren't exposed to before. In addition to the fact that so you get exposed to their audience, they get exposed to your audience. And now the benefit is this is going to create more traction because the people from that in that teammate that you partner with, they're going to comment on the post. The people that you know, they're going to put comment on the post. So now you're getting more traction on a particular post that you wouldn't have gotten naturally before. So more reach, more traction, more engagement. We love it all. All right. We love it all. Seventh, I'm going to give you three bonuses. Seventh, create trending content. You can do the dances. You can use trending audio. You can do, yeah, the trending audio to where like they say funny stuff in the background and then like you're different places. These are, this is beneficial content for you as a student athlete. Why? Because you're already getting a different level of traction that other people naturally aren't getting just based on who you are, the university or college that you're at currently and the sport that you're playing or competing in. Would you agree? You should agree because you know it's true. And then lastly, the last piece of content you should be creating, this is bonus. This is the third bonus, actually. The last piece of content you should be creating is long form content. Mic drop, throw it, boom, get it out of here, okay? John, why should I be creating long form content? You should be creating long form content because it's easy for you to repo repurpose it and repost it. You should be creating long form content because you have the ability to where you can cut a clip from a 10 minute video, eight minute video, six minute video. And by you doing these things, now you can come back and cut another clip and cut another clip and cut another clip and cut another clip. Now you have content for the month that you never even thought about, right? So we want to create long form content. For you, it could be creating a podcast, right? Just getting on the mic, sharing your thoughts, going through topics just like travis hunter did last year right they gave him topics he just ran through them while he was you know just hanging out boom on the pod hello shout out to cam newton no longer is he a collegiate athlete uh but cam newton and and his team over there fourth and one and his producer uh brother omari they go back and forth having conversations about trending content trending topics and they make that they, they add their personality to it why is this beneficial it's extremely beneficial because when when information is put out through the news it's put out bland vanilla basic boring right but when you add your perspective your feelings your beliefs on it people are like oh that's interesting i never thought about that i never would have had that take 
I never would have thought about that. Never would have, in my wildest dreams, never would have considered that. That's why you should be creating this content, right? I just gave you eight different, different types of content you should and could be creating. If you have any questions about this, please let me know. Send a DM over to Speak Your Success Media on Instagram. Right there, you're going to get me, you're going to get my team. We will respond back. But other than that, family, this is Beyond the Balls, the Speak Your Success Media production, where we help student athletes succeed beyond their degree. All right, until next time, peace. God bless.